Hey, it's Ray the Video Guy here, and when I'm working on projects for either myself or for clients, I often need to create graphics. Now, this could be in the form of YouTube channel art, YouTube thumbnails, Facebook cover images, Twitter backgrounds, you name it, we have to create graphics all the time. Well, I often don't want to spend a ton of money and wait for a graphic designer to build something for me, so I need an easy way to make great graphics very quickly. And that's why I'm super excited to tell you about Canva. If you haven't seen Canva before, Canva is an amazing graphic design program, which by the way, is completely free. That's right, you can go in and start making templates for all of your graphics without paying a single penny. Now they do have some upgrades that you can add, they do have images that you can purchase, but for the most part, you can build all of your graphics completely free. Whether you need to make a YouTube thumbnail or a banner for your website or Facebook background, you can build it with the templates that are included in Canva. And there are tons and tons of templates already in there. All you have to do is choose a template, make your changes, hit save, and boom, you have a professional graphic that quickly. And did I mention it's free? Yeah. Take a look at how it works. Okay, so here we are inside of Canva, and as we said, this is actually a nice free program that uh, you can use to design all sorts of great graphics. Now, when we say free, it is free to come in here and use this and to create things. There are some things that are upgrades. So for instance, some of the images or some of the templates may have a cost behind them, but you don't have to use any of the paid ones. And if you do, they're very, very inexpensive. So you can design some really great things for a dollar or two dollars, things like that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off here inside of Canva, and you'll notice that you've got a search here so you can design anything, and you can see some of the suggestions down here. So for instance, if we wanted to do something with YouTube, we could type in you, and you'll see this channel art, there's thumbnails, okay? And if you want to see everything that they offer, you can come over here to create a design, and you can see all the different designs that they have. You can see there's animated social media presentations, posters, YouTube thumbnails, YouTube channel art, Facebook posts, social media, Facebook covers, flyers, Instagram posts, banners, cards, email headers, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, Tumblr. You got traditional print paper signs, you got letterheads, you got magazine covers, certificates, resumes, yearbooks, media covers, I mean, all sorts of stuff in here business cards, labels, uh, event covers. Twitter headers, LinkedIn banners, SoundCloud banners, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down to ad banners down here. And you can choose any of these. So if we want to start off, maybe we're going to do a YouTube thumbnail. So we'd search that up here and hit YouTube thumbnail. And when you do that, that's going to bring up all these different designs that you have in here. So you can take a look at any of these and decide which one of these is going to be right for you. So for instance, if we come in here and we say we like, uh, well, this one right here looks pretty good. Maybe we'll go with this one. You can see top 20 office hacks. Now, one thing I want you to note is this one here has the blue background, the text, and then it's got an image here. So what you want to do first, and this is what I always like to do, is come over here to download and see what it says here. Now you can see right now, it just says download, and that's good. That means that nothing in here is going to cost you any money. So you want to make sure before you design, you know, if anything is going to cost, like an image or whatever, that you already know. It. This image is uh, is free, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, we're going to change this, so we're going to get rid of this image anyway. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the photos area, and I'm going to find a photo that we want to use. So, for instance, let's say we wanted to do a video about baking cookies, okay? So, how to bake cookies. Okay, now that obviously doesn't fit there, but that's okay, because we can do this. Boop. And we can resize this until it fits the way that we like it. And of course, we can move these around if we want to. We can rotate them. We can do all sorts of things here. And then down here, we can change this text. So how to bake cookies by the cookie monster. Okay. And so there we go. We've now got our stuff ready to go. If we want to move this around, we can so that maybe it's more centered. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to put an image over here that relates to that. Now you can see we've got a cookie image right here that we recently used, but you can always come in here and you can do a search for cookie or cookies, and you'll see all of these different cookie images pop up here, and you'll notice it says free, 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 and if we go down, we'll probably find some that cost something somewhere, but look at all these free ones. You don't have to pay anything for any of these so far. All of these are completely free. And that's going to be the case with a lot of the stuff. And some of these you may run across that are, you know, a dollar or two dollars. But 
Uh, for the most part, you're gonna find mostly the free stuff. And we're gonna go back to this cookie image right here because I like that. I'm gonna bring that in here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this over to here. And we're going to resize it by grabbing the handles and just resizing it like so. Now you'll notice it's in front of all of our stuff here. Well, we don't wanna have it in front of everything. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna hit position. And you can see you've got some options here. You've got backward and then you've got some alignment. So you can align to the top, middle, bottom, left, right, or center. Um, we're gonna keep it to the right. So we could hit right here. It's not gonna do anything. If we hit left, it's gonna move it to the other side. We're gonna keep it on the right. And now we're gonna hit backward and that's gonna put it behind the text, behind the blue background. Boom, there we go. And so now we've got our image in here. Now we may wanna adjust this and say, you know what? We wanna have that middle cookie be right in the middle, just like so. And now we've got our thumbnail. And of course we can adjust this. So if we come over here, we can hit filter and we can change some of the filters on this. So for instance, we wanna have it a summer look, selfie look, you know, you can come in here and do all sorts of fun little looks to the image. Okay, black and whites. And of course if you want none, you can do none. You can also adjust manually, so you can adjust the brightness, you can adjust the contrast, okay, the saturation, the tint. You've also got a blur that you can add, okay. And if you go this way, by the way, it's going to kind of sharpen it. So we want to kind of leave that at zero or so. And then here you got what they call X process, which is kind of like a gamma, okay. And then here you can add a vignette, which you can't really see because we have the, uh, the edges cut off, but you can kind of see on the edge here it gets dark. And if we were to move this over, you'd see more of the vignette effect there. You can see it darkens the edges, and it'll do that on the other side as well. Okay, but when we move this back to the middle, it's going to be difficult to see that because it's kind of off the page here. Once we have this all set, we're pretty much ready to go. This is it. We've got... Uh, our thumbnail set up and, and ready to be used. So now what we can do is we can come up here. We can share this if we want to by clicking share. Okay, and you can share the designs with others to view and edit. Or you can go to download and you can see it just says download here. If there was anything in here that cost money, for instance, if the template was a paid template, it might say uh, pay and download and then it might cost you a dollar. If the image is a paid image, it might say the image is a dollar or two dollars and then you'd have to pay money there too. But this is completely free. So all we have to do is hit download you can see it's going to prepare the design. And in just a few seconds, boop, there we go. Now it's going to offer you Canva Pro for 30 days for free. And you can join the Canva Pro program. And this is going to give you all the tools you need to design graphics for any project. No design skills necessary. Simply drag and drop. Take control of your brand with BrandKit. Magically resize your designs. Create stunning animated designs. Elaborate, uh, collaborate and share templates and folders and export designs with transparent backgrounds. So all of these things you can do if you want to join the pro program. And again, you can do it for 30 days by clicking here. Okay, and it's $9.95 a month or $12.95 a month uh, if you actually uh, you know pay monthly. If you pay for the whole year, it's $9.95 a month. And that's a really good deal for what you get here. But for those starting out right now, you don't have to pay anything. So you might as well start using it for free and then upgrade as you see necessary with this. So now that we've got this design done, we can actually come in here and we can make another one. So maybe this one's going to be how to bake uh, brownies. Okay. Which is not going to fit in there, but that's all right. We can mess around with that a little bit. And yeah, it looks like brownies isn't going to fit. So what are we going to do? Well, what we can do is we could resize this if we wanted to. So it's at 81 right now. So maybe if we went to a 56. Okay. And maybe that's even too small, so maybe we can go bigger. We can go into the 60s, maybe even the 70s. Oops. So highlight that. And let's come back up here. And let's do 64. And let's try 72. Okay, so 72 is about the limit there. And we can fit it in if we really want to, just like so. Okay, so now we got how to bake brownies. Well, I don't know if they'll have brownies or not, but let's try it out and see. And it looks like they do. So how to bake brownies brownies. So now we can get rid of our cookie image and we can put in brownies. Now notice this one says pro. Okay. So we're going to show you that in a second. It's got, you can see it's got the, uh, the marks on it here. Okay. And that means that this is a pro image, but we're going to use it just for the example purposes here. Okay. Just like so. And you'll notice it has a button here that says remove watermark. Well, first of all, what you can do right now is we can actually come in here, we can position this just like we would before, okay? We can create this 
And we can send this off to a client and have the client approve this before anything's paid for. So if it's got a premium image here, you can use it with the watermark, send it to the client, let the client go, ah, you know what? I don't like that because you don't want to pay for this if you're not going to end up using it. So you can send it to them with the watermark. They can approve it. When they do, then you can come and remove the watermark, okay? And you come here, if you hit remove watermark, you'll see here, premium image, $1. So it's literally going to cost you $1 to finish this one off here, okay? And so that's perfectly fine. I don't think anyone's going to complain about paying a dollar for a nice image. But let's say you don't like that. Well, let's get rid of that one and find a different brownie. Oh, this one's free. This one's free. This one's free. So all of these are free. So we've still got plenty of choices that don't cost anything. In fact, let's go with this fancy brownie right here. We'll pop this one in here instead. Client doesn't want to pay the dollar. Or really, you don't want to pay the dollar. Client would probably, you'd probably charge them more than a dollar for that. Charge them 50 bucks for it. Uh, and then we're going to come in here. We're going to position that again, bring it to the back, and boom. So now we've got a fancy-looking brownie. Maybe move it over a little bit. And again, this time it doesn't cost us anything. We can come in here. We can download it. Boom. Ready to go. Nice and easy. Now, you will notice here uh, the PNG, like we mentioned, that is a pro feature. So if you're going to do anything that has a transparent background, you're going to have to join the pro, okay, to get that feature. But for the most part, for making these types of graphics, you're probably not going to need it. If you're doing logos, that might be a little bit different and be worth doing there. So we can download this if we want to. And now we've got two thumbnails made in just a very, very short time. Okay. Now, coming back into here, there's all sorts of other things that we could do. So we could add elements to this. And you can see elements are all these different things that you can add in here. So let's say, for instance, you wanted to, uh, you know, bake your brownies, but you wanted to promote your... Instagram channel with this too. You could come in here and you could put this somewhere, top, bottom, whatever. Okay. And then you could come in here with text and you could put in some text into here. So you could add a heading over here. Okay. Grab your head, grab your heading and bring it over here. And we could say uh, Instagram.com slash cookies okay and we'll resize that because that is huge I could go even we'll probably change the font too because it's a terrible font so we'll go 28 so that'll fit in there and now we can come in here and we're going to say well you know I we'll probably want that to be white as well so we can change the color of that um, we're going to want to change the font because it's not the best font in the world so we'll come in here we'll choose maybe Roboto okay which is a nice clean font Move that there. And so now you're promoting your Instagram with your uh, thumbnail. And now you can save that out and use that. So that's how you add elements and text to that. Backgrounds, there's tons of backgrounds in here already. So you can grab any of these and change the background. So if you didn't want this blue background, you can put ocean. You can put all sorts of things in here. All nice and easy. You can upload your own goodies. So this is where you can upload images. Just boop, just click here. Upload your own image. So for instance, if I wanted to make sure that my logo was in here, I would just put in, search for my logo, grab that logo, throw that in there, and now we've got my logo in here ready to be used in any of our image or any of our work here. So I'd give it a second, it's still loading there. There we go. So now if I wanted to add this into my work, I could do that, and I actually accidentally did it twice. And so now I could put this up here because Ray the Video Guy is now a baker. And now it's getting a little complex here, but you get the idea. You can put a logo in here, and now we've got something that brands me, tells you what's in the video, and sends you to Instagram. Again, this one's getting too busy, but you get the idea of the things that you can do in here. You've got folders in here, so if you've got purchased items, you can look at them there, okay? If you've got things that you've liked, you can have them in a folder. You can create your own folders. Again, you have to upgrade for that. And then down here, you got a more button, and this is going to give you some of the new apps like Pexels. Pexels is a site that gives you free images and free videos. Pixabay, same type of thing. Embed, uh, emoji, obviously you can get emojis. There's Facebook, so you can bring in Facebook items, Instagram, Google Maps, YouTube, Giphy, and Dropbox. So if you want to integrate things with those, you can add those apps to your program. And once we're done, you can always go in and find another template and start again. So that's how you set all of this up. And again, you go back home and guess what? You've now got your designs in here. So if I want to go back and I want to bake the perfect cookies, I can open that up and I can make any changes that I want with my brownies and cookies. Okay. And of course, going back home, 
You can start completely from scratch and find something completely new that you want to do. So if we want to, let's try one of the other ones just so you can kind of see here. So if we wanted to do a Facebook cover, you'll see this is the size of the Facebook cover. And you can come in here and you can choose a template. There are lots and lots of templates in here. And again, notice, you know, any of these templates have a lot of cool stuff in them. And you can always make your own. So if you liked this one here, Burger Bash, there we go. So now you've got it in here. And again, we can check. Anything cost any money here? Let's hit the download button. And nope, nothing costs money in this, so that's perfect. Okay, so now you can come in here, make your changes, and export that out as well for your Facebook uh, cover images. So, well, there you go. That is Canva. As you can see, an amazing program that you can use to create all sorts of graphics for the web or for video or for print. And the best part is you can do it completely free, even if you have no graphic design experience whatsoever. Just choose a template, build it, and download it, and you are done. And of course, if you want to take it to a new level, they do have some professional level templates. They do have some professional images that you can add, and those are very, very inexpensive. So for just just a couple of bucks, you can make amazing graphics. So check out Canva. If you have questions, of course, let me know, and we'll see you on the inside.